this is why you cannot ever bank against my boy. Your boy and everyone's boy. Um, yes, my prediction was 4-1 to Liverpool. But if you actually listen to my preview, I said that this that Pogba would play a very important role as to the outcome of this game. If Pogba wasn't used well, he was too defensive and given too much of a defensive role, then I do believe that Liverpool would have taken advantage. But what you saw, first of all, was a United without Rooney. And if you were to give a man of the match, I'd actually give the man of the match to United's defence. So if United's defence was a guy, a man, he would get man of the match because the interceptions, defensive positioning, the hustling, the organisation, like Liverpool pretty much had no space. And you look at Liverpool right now, that match signifies why they're not going to win the league. You know, that they will do, like, Liverpool, like, against other teams, they'll smash them, they'll, they'll, they'll beat them up. But, see, this was a match in which, okay, Liverpool, now, you're not, you're not coming up against a team that is tactically forcing you to play in front of them. They're not giving you any space, they're not allowing any counter-attacks. They're not allowing to give you any kind of, kind of one one twos. You now have to now hold possession of the football and try to methodically break these people down. Because the game was built for Liverpool to control possession and find a way of finding that key pass to, to get a one. Because this, well, this match was, was, was a 1-0 game. So this was not a 3 or 4 one that I thought it would be. Because of how good United were defensively, how they were organised, that's what it was calling for. But the thing is that we saw Pogba being a lot more attacking. And that was the key. Like, a far more attacking Pogba, who plays a lot more advanced, is very dangerous. But I just thought that the way Mourinho organised everybody in the game was it was amazing. I think, you know, because I put out a tweet that, okay, best centre defenders out right now. Eric Bailly, this guy's a very good defender. I mean, this guy is a really good defender. And I'm not... Picking him up because everybody else for United they did they did well, but he, the amount of interceptions he did, he there was never at a point because him and Smalling are both they, they did very well. And I think you know Mourinho now no sense that no Blind is a midfielder that your first choice defense partnership is Bai and um, Smalling. But I just thought you know Bai this guy is a quality defender, so I thought you know for United could they have won the game? Um, you know what? Because like for me, I was thinking that for, for Rashford, I get where he was. You know, you have to... There are only, there are only so many players that, that you want to put, put guys in. Um, I thought Rashford would be better in the centre. Or if it was given much more direction to try and be a bit more uh, diagonal and be a lot more attacking. Because I, th I thought that, you know, Rashford is not a winger. And a central player playing him on the wing, I think, never works. So even if Rashford had a few good things, I thought you would have seen him be a lot more effective and causing a lot more issues, being a lot more central, um, to a missing Mata. You know, I think I thought that Mata's creativity and his imagination would have done them better. And I think without Mata in the team, they lost that kind of pass or ball that would have really opened up Ibrahimovic or op opened up a Pogba in there. Um, but I just think, you know, for, for United, you know, um, do it. I think that's. I think that's what they were missing. I think they were missing Rashford in the centre, and maybe Mata. But apart from that, just to go away from home against a team who are as free scoring and as deadly attacking tactically, Mourinho was perfect. And for Liverpool, I just think you know, you need in these kinds of situations. They were missing Lalana to begin with. Obviously, he wasn't fully fit, but you could see that you know, Lalana not not being there was a big loss and. Thing with guys like let's say Coutinho and Henderson and all these people, again, if you give them space, these guys are probably the best in the Premiership in breaking you down. If you give them space and you try to play against them, but if you're defensive, there is no points man. You know there is no man who can get hold of the ball like a Riquelme, like a vintage Riquelme who can get hold of the ball and be like, okay now, which let's keep possession of the ball. Let's walk with these guys because these guys are not going to come. They're not giving us, us the space. They are, they are sitting back there. They are sitting deep. But even with that, is that the, the beauty of what Mourinho did is that he knew when his boys wanted to sit deep. He knew when the boys wanted to press. So in midfield, he was like, "Do not allow these guys to transition." So let's just this not about us just sitting deep. Yeah, we will sit deep at points, but when it gets into that midfield um, position get on to emerge and get on to continue. Do not allow them to quickly readjust and recycle the ball 
where they can get very dangerous because it's the the quickness that they go from midfield to attack is what makes them so dangerous, which is what they did so well in getting those interceptions in midfield, being tenacious and just being quicker to the ball. So I just thought, you know, as a whole, you couldn't give me better than a 0-0, but I, I thought that, you know, it was a, a closely fought game. Um, neither, I mean, you would say maybe tactically United deserved to win the game, but I think overall 0-0 is a fair point. And on the grander scheme of things, I don't see title winners in either of this team. I still see a United team that there are still issues in this team and they are yet to really look like the defined finished article. As for Liverpool, again, teams who look at what United did, they'll be like, you know what, let's set up like United. If we set up like United, you know, it, it, like, it doesn't mean that we're going to get that draw, but we put ourselves in a much better position to beat Liverpool if we set up like, like that than how other teams have done in giving them space. You don't you make sure you don't give them space. You know when to press, you know when to sit in deep, and you force them to play a much slower tactical game, which is what United did. Say so, you no, know, so Liverpool played United's game. So yeah man, overall one of the match was I mean United's defense was just awesome. An absolute awesome defense. And De Gea again pro proved why he is out and out the best keeper in the premiership and top three of the keepers in the world with some fantastic saves. Um that's all it is. And as for Wayne Rooney, what did he actually do when he came on? Remember to follow me on Twitter and on Facebook via my uh, handle there at Half Hope Hot. I am on Twitter and on Facebook to keep up to date with my, my videos, my thoughts, my appearances on TV. Follow me right there. Guys, it's all it takes a few seconds. Please, if you enjoyed the vid, like the video it really helps to grow the channel and if you like if you're a new member just like subscribe to the channel right there subscribe right there to the channel for much more football hot stuff like the vid subscribe be part of the football hot fraternity stay black